right now with Mariana Voss. Mariana, I got to watch you in Lindbergh. I got to watch you in Louisville, Kentucky. All fantastic. But tell me, you come to Sea Otter. It is like the heartland of the world of mountain bikes. How did you like Sea Otter? How did you like this mountain bike race today? Well, I arrived uh, yesterday here off the flash ballon and I just, uh, my teammates just said, well, this is a short race, so uh, do it and uh, it'd be great. And uh, yeah, first few laps, I was struggling a bit, but then uh, I got into the rhythm and it's really uh, amazing, great atmosphere. So let me get this straight, on Wednesday you race Flesh Malone, then you come here, how long, how much sleep did you get before you were able to race today? A full night, so it was, uh, it was good. <laughs> did, did they at least buy the fancy ticket for the airplane up in the front? Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no business club, but it was a good flight and uh, I'm just happy to be here. I gotta ask you real quick, just mountain bikes, what is your ambition for the mountain bike? Would you like to be world champion in the fat tires? Would I like that? Yeah, I would like that. But um, now, first, it's my first okay. year back in Elite, right. and uh, uh, well, hang on, hang on. it's just a uh, whole learn learning experience. And um, until now, it's uh, going quite well, but I have to learn a lot still. And I'm gonna do uh, two World Cups this year and see how that goes. Fantastic. Mariana Rose, I know the people are giant. We want you to go business class from now on. Give Can this woman a good play box? ticket. Back to you, Larry Longo. Ask you, you know, normally a short track race goes from 20 guys to 10 guys to 5 guys. That group got bigger and bigger and bigger like a storm cloud. What was it tactically like? I said at one moment, I said, we haven't mentioned Kabush yet. That might be a good thing. Did you just keep your nose out of the wind for most of it? Yeah, I think it's just experience and patience. Uh, definitely tactical. You just had to be positioned for a few key corners. That sand grip was a, was a killer. But, you know, just uh, it's such an iconic finish here. It feels great uh, for the Scotts Rocks to start off another win. Uh, it's great to see everyone here at the Sea and a uh, great event to start the weekend. Boy, i got to ask you, a real international field. You know, you don't get to see all these guys all the time. Did you have trouble picking a strong horse, going, knowing which move to go with? They were all so good. There's a ton of horsepower out there for sure. It's really great to have a, a much deeper field here this year, but it was just, uh, you know, there's a couple key points coming out of that sand trap where you knew you had to get a clean line, and that's where the legs hurt. I knew I just had to position myself for there and set up for the finish. It's pretty confident. In my sprint here on the pavement with max light tires, I knew they're fast. And all I needed to do was get to the finish. Hey, quick technical question. It wasn't a whole lot of bumps out there. Did you lock out the suspension today? Yeah, I, with uh, Fox, I have the ICD. It's just a little switch, so every time I'm standing up, accelerating, locking that out to get the you know max power down, and it's definitely helped in the sprint. Got to ask you, mountain bikers in bunch sprints, kind of sketchy. Flugenger coming way over on the left side. Just the kaleidoscope in your brain in that finish. How hard was it to just keep the inventory of people? Uh, once I come around that corner, I knew uh, my goal was to come from the front. So as soon as I came around that corner, it's just head down power. I could kind of watch the shadow there, but uh, yeah, I think it got pretty close there at the end, but it's great to take the win for sure. Final question. The prestige of Sea Otter. It seems that Mariana Vos in the women's race is superstar field in the men's race. The prestige of Sea Otter, where does it stack up in the world of mountain bike racing? Oh, it's a huge event uh, for us in North America. It's, you know, probably the biggest industry event, and, uh, you know, it's a busy weekend. It's great to see all the friends and sponsors here, and uh, it's definitely a bonus when you can uh, fit in a race and take the win well as well. All right, one of my heroes, Jeff Kabush, fantastic job. Nice.